Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. Today we're back at Hanningfield Reservoir, a beautiful part of the UK countryside. Now, if you follow the channel and my Instagram, you'll know that I love McLaren and I've had three McLarens myself. I had two 12Cs and a 650S. I've also been lucky enough to drive pretty much the entire range. I love the Super Series, which is the 12C, the 650 and the 720 because they have that lovely independent hydraulic suspension, which is really great on UK B roads. However, McLaren have brought out a new car and I wanna see how this fits in to the rest of the lineup that they have. So today we have a beautiful Vega Blue 600 LT Coupe. This is one of the very first customer cars in the UK, kindly lent to us by Zen Car Driver. I just want to say a huge thanks to him because he was meant to come and film today and due to a family emergency, he couldn't come and he just said, come and pick up the car. So I've actually been driving the car now for 24 hours. So I've actually had quite a lot of uh, driving in it, but we're going to drive it today and I'm going to give you my feedback on the car. So first of all, the spec, Vega Blue, I think really goes well with the black alloys that he's done, the gloss black alloys. Now what's really nice also is these exhausts which sit above the engine like the 918 Spider Porsche gives the ability for McLaren to design a really lovely huge rear diffuser. This has got the uh, two carbon pack option. You can have three carbon pack options. The first one is the side sills and the wing mirror covers and the second one actually covers the whole of the rear diffuser. The third one I think just covers the engine bay and you can also have the roof. The actual roof is palladium and it's actually an optional extra. The interior comes with a comfort seat. You can have the center seats which are a lot lighter, a lot more expensive, but some people find them quite difficult to get in and out of. Personally, I'd go for the center seats. So I think McLaren have actually been really clever because they know that Porsche has a huge market with the GT3 and they did really well with the 675 LT. And this basically is appealing to people who want a more engaging driving experience. Not necessarily something they're gonna use every day. GT3s you can use every day. Maybe this is more aimed at the person that likes a GT3 RS. It's a lot more aggressive. Yes, you could use this as an everyday car, but the chances are you'd probably want this for weekends because it's not as soft, not as comfortable. So what's it like to drive? Why don't we find out? So we're inside the 600 LT what's it like to drive. First of all, it's phenomenally fast. Whoa! Woo! Pretty quick. Now, most people are wondering, how does this compare to drive to a 570? How does it compare to drive to a 675 LT? And how does it compare to a 720S? Now, I actually had a 650S and I've been driving around these roads a lot in a 650S, and it doesn't feel night and day. The 650S, remember, is the Super Series, which has the clever hydraulic suspension. This car has 592 brake horsepower, 600 PS. The 650S had 650 PS, 641 brake horsepower. So you can imagine that there's obviously not a lot of difference in the speed, but I think what McLaren were trying to do with this car is give it that RS Porsche feel and appeal to people who thought that the 570S, me included, was just a little bit too normal and a little bit unexciting to drive. Now, this is really important. The 570S is a great road car and the 650S is a great road car. I think that this car though is trying to appeal to people who want a more engaging driving experience, potentially people 
who don't want to use the car on a daily basis. Of course you can use this on a daily basis because it's got the lifting gear, but it's a much more engaging experience and I think it appeals to people who want a really track focused car. Now I'm not going to run through all of the specs, Dan's going to put that on the screen, but obviously it's lighter than the 570S and has more downforce. The one thing I noticed from driving it last night and today, the front spoiler which is very aggressive and extends out actually catches the road when you're driving on anything other than a flat road. If you're going on to a graduated part of the road or you're going on a little hill or bumpy road, this front spoiler actually catches, which isn't nice. Obviously, this is designed for the track, so they've made it very low. Now, I think McLaren have actually been very clever with this car. Why do I say that? The 650S was a great road car. I don't think the 675 ALT was a great road car was a great car, but only on track. The 570 is a great road car, but they haven't gone as hardcore with the 600 LT as they did with the 675 LT. This feels a lot more compliant on the road, really nice, even now around bumpy little country roads that we're on, this car feels nice. Now it is not, and I repeat, not as smooth as a 650S, a 720S, or the 12C. This car is definitely firmer because it doesn't have that independent hydraulic suspension. It does have double wishbones, but it doesn't have the hydraulic links. So whilst it's a great road car, it is not a super series and it is not as smooth. Apart from that though, I have to say it's pretty incredible. It handles really well. It's so fast, it's ridiculous. No one other than probably my friend Ollie Webb could drive this car to its potential on the road. And even then you're gonna run out of road or lose your license. Things I love, easy to drive. The steering is very, very direct. When you're going around corners, you really feel you're in touch with the car. Now they've actually done a lot of work on the steering on this. I believe that it has the racing steering rack. The infotainment system is, is modern and updated. I had a little bit of trouble using this sat nav last night. I haven't really figured out how to use it. Not as user friendly as my iPhone, so I'm still using the Waze on my iPhone. The noise is good. The noise is good only when you put it into track mode. It doesn't come close to a naturally aspirated engine. Doesn't come close. I've got the Lamborghini Performante Spider and that V10 howl is incredible. So if you're looking for a really phenomenal noise from the engine, this isn't the car. Things I don't like. Not many, probably the front spoiler is a bit too low for my liking as a road car. It can catch on things. The suspension is harder than the Super Series, so you do feel a lot of the bumps in the road. And the noise. I'm not in love with the noise, but that's because I've jumped out of a Lamborghini Huracan Performante, which is probably one of the best sounding engines in the world. But apart from that, I can't really fault the car. Hats off to McLaren. They've produced a phenomenal car. When you get into a McLaren, like a 570S or a 650S, you think, how can they improve on this? But they do, they always do. They use their F1 technology to make these cars better and more engaging. If you've driven a 570S, you'll know it doesn't need any more power. No one could ever get out of the 570S and say, oh, that's not powerful enough. But this car is a bit more powerful, it's more engaging, and that makes it more fun to drive. So, to conclude, I think this is one of the best looking cars in the world at the moment. It surely is one of the best looking McLarens they've ever made. The only car I think comparing to this that looks as good is a 675LT. I especially liked 
the 6M5 LT that Shmi had in cerulean blue, which looks incredible. This or a 6M5 LT is not an easy decision, but I think this is a better road car. If you've got £225,000 to spend, I can't think of many cars that are much better than this. But a 650S at 125000 I think offers a lot of value for money. But if you want an engaging car, you want something you can also take on the track, and you want the latest, greatest McLaren, then this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe for loads more. And the next video we're gonna do is a comparison with this car to two other supercars.